Hello, Michael Brown here. I had a person ask me just this morning about how to use Superflip software to interlace two pictures to create an eight by 10 lenticular. And I thought I would demonstrate that. So I am running Superflip software on my Macintosh. It's a PC program, but I actually use a emulator called Parallels, which lets me run PC software on the Macintosh. So over here on the desktop, I have the icon for Superflip uh, 3D. And this is actually the Superflip 3D Genius uh, software. But if you come over here to Project and go to Superflip, you'll see this dialog box uh, changes its options. So I'll do that. A new, more simplistic dialog box appears, and we'll use that to create this two-phase flip. So I'm going to come over here to Add Files. And on my desktop, actually not on my desktop, in a folder, I have two sample images sized up for eight by 10 inches. I'm going to open those up. Now, when we make lenticulars, we can either make ones where the lenticules run horizontally for flip cards, or we can have the lenticules running vertically in case we want to have a, a wall print that you walk by and it changes. And what I like to do is make these wall prints, and I always like one of my images to be dead center. Well, you can see here if I only have two pictures, you'll see one as you move slightly to one side of center and the other when you move slightly to the other side of center. But if you're straight on it, you're at the transition. and That doesn't look that nice. So what we'll do is actually duplicate our two pictures. So we now have four pictures. And one of these photos is a sunflower, and that's the one I want to be in the center when we're viewing straight on. So what I'm going to do is move this first image uh, to be on one side and on the other side of the sunflower picture. So now we have these four images, one called flowers, two frames of the sunflower, and the other of the multiple flowers. Now we're going to process this lenticular. So under the output file, we want to use the screen frequency. The person I was talking to said they were using 75 LPI. Now you can see the value I just put in is an integer. Normally when you do a pitch test of your lenticular sheet, you'll find out it doesn't really come out to be an integer at most viewing distances. It might be 74.99, it might be 75.03. You just don't know until you do the pitch test at chart. So for this example, I'll stick with 75, but know that in most circumstances, it, it won't be that whole number. I also should add, I do not recommend 75 LPI for most people. If you're just getting started with lenticular, I suggest using uh, 40 LPI or lower because it's simple to learn how to align those lower frequencies. It's more difficult when you're dealing with the higher frequencies uh, with inkjet printing. Uh, one other thing I want to do is remember to put alignment marks around the perimeter of our picture and that helps to align the lenticular sheet with the finished print. So I have those uh, parameters all set up and now we'll go to process. Uh, it recommends enhancing the resolution, so I will hit the OK button and let it do its thing. I am going to name this file interlaced number two. And now it's processing that. It's all done. Let me open Adobe Photoshop. I'm going to close this. That was my these are the two pictures I was actually interlacing. And now we'll go to open, grab our interlace two, and here's the interlace file. You can see there's a border around it. If I zoom in, you can see the alternating stripes uh, from the two various frames. So here we're at the top of the picture, so the blue is the blue from this sky in the sunflower picture and the green is from all these flowers in the other picture. And if I scroll all the way to the top, now you can see these black and white lines. I hope you enjoyed this very quick demonstration of Superflip software.